It's GeForce Now Thursday and we have five new titles hitting the service this week, but before going over them, let's catch up on all the GFN news you need to know. And to get us started, the season of giving continues as GeForce Now members can access a new free reward, a special in-game Star Wars Outlaws enhancement. This pack gives Kay and Nyx a complete set of gear that's perfect for missions in lush forest worlds. The gear set's called the Forest Commando Character Pack and it comes right on time to celebrate the first story pack launching for Star Wars Outlaws titled Wild Card. You'll be tasked with bluffing, charming, and blasting your way through new challenges exploring uncharted corners of the Star Wars galaxy, while you can also expect a free update that will scatter fresh contract missions across the stars. So if you've been waiting for a good excuse to boot up Star Wars Outlaws, here it is. Do remember to check your email for instructions on how to claim the reward, and if you haven't already, be sure to opt into the GFN Rewards program to not miss out on future rewards. As always, Ultimate and Performance members can start redeeming the style packages starting today, and don't miss out as this offer is only available through Saturday, December 21st on a first come first serve basis. Moving on from that, let's talk about an update surrounding Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. It is one of the major releases happening this week, but sadly it won't be arriving on GeForce Now just yet. That being said, Nvidia and Microsoft are committed to bringing new games to GeForce Now at launch, but in some cases like this, titles may arrive after their release to ensure optimal gaming experiences for members. Nvidia is confirming that they are working with Xbox Game Studios to bring Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 to GeForce Now and will provide updates as soon as it becomes available. I know this may be a bit of a bummer to hear for fans out there, but based on how the game's launched, I do think this is the right call. In case you haven't kept up, the game itself has been having some server issues and it does rely on a constant connection to actually play. Adding GFN users into the mix would probably only increase the load and extend the issues that they're currently facing. So while it may suck that we may not be among the first to play the game, I do think it's the right call to make sure that it is at a playable state once it's here. But now let's move over to the game's coming out this week, of which there are five. That includes Towers of Akhazba, Stalker 2, Heart of Chernobyl, Star Wars Outlaws, The Elder Scrolls 4, Oblivion Game of the Year Edition, and last but not least, Fallout 3 Game of the Year Edition. Definitely some fan favorites on there, but I think the big release for me definitely goes to Stalker 2, Heart of Chernobyl. It's a game a ton of people, including myself, have been waiting for, and I can't wait to try it out on GeForce now. That said, let me know what you plan on playing down in the comments section below. Either way, that covers everything for this GFN Thursday. If if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful at all, be sure to hit that like button as it really does help the channel out, and if you're wanting more content like this, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell as well. As always, this has been Steven from Anytime Anywhere Gaming, wishing you a great day, and until next time, I'll catch you in the clouds.